Yo, recent vinyl finds number seven. What's up, vinyl community? Did a little shopping. Did a little shopping. Mondays, Mondays is becoming my go to a record store while waiting for my girlfriend day. And actually, we kind of, kind of like realized that uh, today that like, oh, we do, we've done this like three Mondays in a row. <clears throat> it works out for me. Works out for you. We usually do a little thrift store shopping, clothes shopping, need at a restaurant, so it might become a regular thing. I'm working now, so you know, could spend more money on vinyl, but uh, you know, you never want to get too comfortable because uh, in, in this economy, things change very quickly. Anyhow, let me show you what I got today. Hit up two record stores, two boutique record stores here in New York. I'm not, I'm not big on. Uh, it's been so long since I've had like steady income that I, I never I kind of stopped going to uh, <clears throat> record stores where you didn't have to sort of wear a gas mask or, or get some kind of mildew poisoning uh, you know <laughs> but it's, it's it's a nice luxury I have to say I, I might do it more anyway I went to two record stores here in New York and I picked up uh, some stuff mostly uh, some new stuff some in, some from the used bin let me start out uh, with the seven inches there's a store in New York called Other Music, and uh, following along with my thread, I found this this seven inch that just said techno, the techno. Uh, me and my nephew have this little joke about uh, this guy we know. It's like Eastern European guy who uh, had an accent and would always uh, and he made techno and he would talk to us and be like, I like it, the techno. So uh, I bought the techno on uh, compact. Except this isn't really techno. <laughs> It's one side, this side, is kind of electronic sounding, and definitely material that uh, fits in my little uh, IDM 45 box uh, idea. <clears throat> but it says Panda Bear, Surfer's Him. I, I, I guess Panda Bear is the name of the band, and uh, is the name of the release techno. Are they being funny? Are they being ironic? Because this side has vocals, and it sounds kind of like, I don't know. Electronic-y, indie rockish, but it's on a, a, a definitely a techno label. I have minimal techno on compact. <clears throat> nice packaging. Panda Bear. <clears throat> so I bought that. Then I, I've been dying to see what this band was all about. New band on, I guess, Discord slash Love It, like a DC band soccer team. Um. Decent uh, vinyl, really nice. It feels like, you know, heavy. Nice label design. You could always count on uh, DC slash Discord related bands to come with uh, the real nice graphic design. Um, I think Soccer Team is two people. It's really cool. Decent, decent music. Um, kind of like you know, that DC sound you expect from like a Fagazi or whatnot. But um, this has like a, like acoustic -y. I, I don't know. It's, it's real interesting. Singer songwriter ish. These are the people. And I feel like this guy might be related to Jeff Nelson. His last name's Nelson. Maybe that's just a coincidence. So anyway, uh, Jeff Nelson from Minus Red, of course. Um, so anyway, those are my 45s. And in the background. We're listening to uh, Black Milk, Instrumentals, uh, Popular Demand, or Broken Wax. I don't know. It's a two-album set. Um, really great producer from the Detroit part of the world, the D, as they call it. How many uh, vinyl community uh, people are from Detroit? So let me tell you, if nobody is... Uh, that is a place to do some digging. If anybody could attest to that, I mean, yeah, Detroit. I went there, and I really like music from Detroit, um, all kinds, soul, funk, but I like listening to this guy because um, I really hear it. You know, I really hear the Detroit sound, and it's just a, a cool-ass city. You guys should go there if you can, anybody. Uh, then I got... Um, from a different store. I think this is from Kim's. It's a record store called Kim's in New York. From the used bin. Joe South. So the seeds are growing. 
I'm a big fan of Joe Sal. <clears throat> you know, I don't know what you call it, like blue-eyed soul, country, funky country, decent record. Um, on that same, like, oldies tip, Richie Havens, The Great Blind Degree. This is mainly covers. I'm a fan of Richie Haven's uh, original music. I just like the way he sings, but he does some pretty good covers here on here. His version of Fire and Rain, I prefer over Jackson Brown. I I don't like Jackson Brown. I might catch flack for that, but I, I just don't I don't get it. Um, Tommy, there's a, a version of Tommy. I haven't listened to the B-side yet, but he does a further version of Cat Stevens' Fathers and Sons. And uh, I, I want to hear that, because I'm a big Cat Stevens fan. So anyway, Richie Havens, can't go wrong. Then I picked up my friend's band, Decimus 8. Uh, I grew up with this dude. He's a little guy. He's a little, little wise-ass guy. But I like him. Fellow Italian. But uh, you wouldn't know it. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what that means. But what up? My man Pat Morano. Uh, this is really beautiful music. I doubt... I don't think Pat Morano is nerdy enough to, uh, well, he's definitely nerdy enough, but I don't think he would see this video, but if you do, nice job. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, very, uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with No Neck Blues Band. I grew up with most of those guys, too. Um, it's, uh, it's what I expect from, actually, it's not what I expect. It's very mellow and nice, and, uh, I don't know. I've actually been on a, on a kick of trying to get... I kind of like what Pat's doing right now, so I've been trying to collect what he's up to. Um, really nice stuff. Uh, I saw this and I couldn't resist it, even though I don't even DJ all that much anymore. Um, I, I collect these kind of beat records, especially when they're ridiculous and funny. Uh, this is like a DJ record of like sample sounds for scratching of quotes from 80s movies along with a few instrumentals of like 80s songs or 80s songs that were in 80s movies just looped, you know, just for shits and giggles, just for, it was cheap and just for scratching and, and mixing and stuff, you know. And then I got a really nice piece, uh, The Master Musicians of Jujuka. I'm thinking of going to uh, Morocco, uh, and Spain on my next vacation with my girlfriend and I uh, figured I might I should probably pick up this to get psyched for Morocco and and I know I mean I, I only listen to one side but the, just the hearing it I was like oh I know I'm gonna spend a lot of time with this because this this type of music just hits me you know like I could listen to this for a while I had a I had a CD that was on the same sort of tip, different part of the world, but um, the uh, Malim Malaganya Trance of Seven Colors with Farrah Sanders. And I need, I lost that CD, I need to get that back. I could probably listen to that CD and this for like just a month straight, nothing else. Um, I love stuff like this. So, and, I, and it was cheap, it was in the used bin. I saw it there a week ago when I was in there buying other records. And I was like, if that's still there, I'm gonna pick that up. I think that's all I got. I mean, I got other stuff, uh, but I think that's it for this video to keep it short. So this is uh, episode number seven, vinyl update. That's my vinyl update. And uh, thanks, everybody, for subscribing and uh, keeping up with me. And uh, I'm definitely going to have some more stuff to come. So, all right, peace.